We're not even finished with the AI boom yet, but quantum computing is already looking like the next big thing. And world powers like the United States and China are all in on the quantum computing race. Last week, Google made a groundbreaking announcement in the field of quantum computing with the reveal of Willow, its latest quantum chip. This chip is so powerful that it was able to complete a highly intricate calculation in under five minutes. An accomplishment so extraordinary that it would have taken the world's most advanced supercomputers 10 septillion years to solve the same problem. To put that unfathomably large number into perspective, 10 septillion years is roughly 700 billion times the current estimated age of the universe. With that level of computational power, Quantum could revolutionize entire industries and countries by unlocking new possibilities that were once thought to be beyond reach. And for that reason, corporations and world governments are all racing for quantum supremacy because quantum computing has the potential to completely change the game in many areas. Quantum computers can do things that traditional computers just can't, or at least not efficiently. And that's because quantum isn't just the latest supercomputer, it's a completely different kind of computer entirely. Unlike traditional computers, which process data in binary bits in the form of ones and zeros, quantum computers use qubits, which can represent multiple states at once. In the quantum world, this phenomenon is called superposition. IBM describes it as being able to be a weighted combination of 0 and 1 at the same time. And when multiple of these qubits are combined, they can scale exponentially. Two qubits can compute with four pieces of information, three can compute with eight, four can compute with 16, and so on. In a nutshell, the unique nature of how quantum computers and qubits work could make them way faster and able to solve complex problems that are currently impossible or take forever on classical computers. Anything that involves massive amounts of data and complex analysis has the potential to be transformed by quantum computing. You can think of use cases like optimizing massive supply chains by finding hidden efficiencies, or creating and speeding up new medical breakthroughs by simulating molecules during research or perhaps the ability to enable more powerful AI models and machine learning, or even creating complex financial modeling for large organizations. The possibilities of what quantum computing can do are immense. But there are also a lot of dangers that come with such a large breakthrough in computational power. One of the biggest concerns with quantum computing is that it could break current encryption and cybersecurity methods essentially overnight. In the cybersecurity world, this is sometimes referred to as Q-Day, the day when quantum computers make current encryption methods useless. A lot of digital security, from banking to government secrets, relies on encryption that would be super easy for a quantum computer to crack. Because of this fact, the United States, China, and other world powers are racing for quantum supremacy. Whoever reaches a quantum computing breakthrough first will be capable of decrypting nearly anything. Governments and militaries could see their long-term plans and intelligence gathering exposed to enemies if they fall behind in the field of quantum. Massive businesses could have trade secrets and their intellectual property stolen. And Bitcoin and other blockchains could be at risk of having their encryption broken and coins stolen. Being late to quantum technology would be a huge national security liability for everyone. There's a belief by many cyber analysts that all the major world powers like China and the United States are currently collecting encrypted data and hoping to decrypt it later after a quantum breakthrough. In particular, some FBI sources have claimed that China has a bigger hacking program than every other major nation combined, and they're focused on gathering as much data as they can so they can decrypt it in the future. So major global powers are also rushing to do what they can to protect their secrets. The United States is pursuing post-quantum cryptography to develop encryption methods that are difficult for even quantum computers to break. China, on the other hand, is trying to pioneer quantum communications networks, a technology that is theoretically impossible to hack, according to researchers. 
The way the quantum race is currently playing out between China and the United States is between private sector directed innovation in the US and state directed funding in China. It's estimated that the United States has about 180 free enterprises pursuing quantum computing and largely financing the research costs themselves. China, on the other hand, is financing its quantum sector through the state, with large-scale government-funded laboratories and subsidies believed to add up to $15 billion. This $15 billion is around four times as much as the existing U.S. government subsidies for quantum. And although the U.S. government is trying to increase its investment in quantum, government funding is still nowhere near the levels of China. Beyond just the national security benefits, there are also huge economic incentives for countries to pursue quantum computing. The country or company that leads in quantum tech could dominate industries like healthcare, energy, finance, and AI. Quantum computing has the potential to drive productivity growth across multiple industries. By solving complex problems more efficiently, quantum technologies could enable industries to achieve more with less resources and boost economic productivity in that country. This is in addition to the new markets and industries that could potentially be created with quantum software and hardware. The founder and lead of Google's Quantum AI Lab left the growing field of AI to focus on quantum computing, largely because he believed that advanced AI would significantly benefit from access to quantum computing. In his words, he believes that, quote, Quantum computation will be indispensable for collecting training data that's inaccessible to classical machines. Training and optimizing certain learning architectures and modeling systems where quantum effects are important. This includes helping us discover new medicines, designing more efficient batteries for electric cars, and accelerating progress in fusion and new energy alternatives. Many of these future game-changing applications won't be feasible on classical computers they're waiting to be unlocked with quantum computing. Wall Street is already excited about the possibilities of quantum computing, with Google's stock up over 10% since the announcement of the company's Willow breakthrough. Other quantum computing-focused stocks like IonQ have also seen explosive gains over the last several months. Things are still in the very early stages, but as the importance of quantum computing becomes more clear, the quantum race between the U.S. and China will continue to heat up. But be sure to let me know your thoughts on quantum computing in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more finance and business content. Thanks.